Creator Mining here, and today I'm going to be talking about, well, this will be a buy alert video for a new DEX play that I added to my portfolio. It's called Zeta, and the acronym, I mean the ticker symbol is Z-E-X. This is not Zeta Chain, it is Zeta, and Zeta is basically a DEX on Solana, and I wanted to, let's go to the chart. Okay, there's all, actually no, let's go to the last three months. Okay, so you see how Zeta is hovering between two cents, three cents, four cents between August 5th, so the first week of August and the last yeah, around the last week of August, starting on the 20th. So I was actually waiting until the current price of Zeta dropped to around that price range. Because right now, if we go to the seven day chart, we'll see here that it's been hovering strong around the six cent mark. So every time I check the chart this week, I would see some denomination of six cents so i was like you know what at this rate i don't think it'll go any lower and look what happens every time i buy the price goes lower now it's at 0 0.05442 so it went down half a penny this happened to me with bobo happened to me with mr miggles and now zeta but it is what it is with this market anywho since we only have so much time in September to buy, once September is done, we're going to start seeing some pumps in October, which I covered in my last video. And I definitely don't want to be buying during the pumps, only the dumps. So I made the move now to get in. So in other words, you could say I FOMO'd in. And I got in around $0.06 cents or a $10 million market cap. So super low. And I didn't throw too much at it just through what I had or more like what I can scrap up around 300 bucks and when I first discovered Zeta like I said earlier it was hovering around two cents and at the time I wasn't super interested in it because of the dilution and if you're wondering about what dilution I'm talking about if we go to the Vesting schedule, you'll see here that there is daily dilution. Now the dilution amount is only 3% of the total supply, but the dilution continues until 2031. So with that dilution, I wasn't super interested in the project, but when I found out that it was going to be listed on Kraken, because at the time, it wasn't listed. It was in the process of being listed. I figured, okay, once it does get on cracking, no longer will I see these two cent, three cent, four cent price ranges. It's going to go up. And that's exactly what happened at the time. I couldn't get the money, but now I did manage to get some money, but it was already at six cents. So it is what it is. But in hindsight, this dilution could actually be a blessing in disguise because its dilution schedule is so spaced out until 2031 that this really means most of the tokens are not in the circulating supply right now for the 2025 altcoin season. So that would mean there is quite a bit of scarcity for this token. And to prove what I'm saying, if we go to the overview tab, we see here only 15.9% of the total supply is in circulation. So there's definitely going to be some scarcity, which will help drive the price up. And this also means that most of the dilution is going to happen in the coming years after all coin season. Now, I haven't had a chance to specifically look at 
which days have higher dilution amounts. But the last time I checked, I think it was pretty much consistent across every day until 2031. So what I mean by that is you'll have other tokens, let's say Ondo, for instance, if we look at Ondo Finance's vesting schedule, we will see that, let's just ignore the 2024 portion of the schedule. What we wanna focus on is January, 2025. So right here, you see, where is it? Okay, so you see on January 18th, it says 19.4% of the max supply is going to be released into circulation on that day. That's going to cause huge sell pressure. And you don't want that. So the difference I noticed with Zeta's dilution schedule is that it's more, much more consistent, much more spaced out, and you won't see that immediate sell pressure. Plus most of that dilution, like I said earlier, is probably going to happen after it hits a new all-time high during this bull run. Because if we go to the chart, we'll see that Zeta came out on June 27th. So this is its first bull run. And the reason why I focus on these tokens with this low of a market cap is because from what I've been seeing, in general, unless there's been a huge catalyst, let's say if we have a an older token that's been through either several bull runs or one bull run already, unless there's been a huge catalyst in the life cycle of that token between that last bull run and the next one, like a tier one exchange listing, Binance, Coinbase, Kraken, etc., smart contracts, some burns were implemented, etc., Unless you start seeing some significant event or milestone like that, you will see diminishing returns with that token each cycle. For example, we're seeing that with Bitcoin right now. Some of Bitcoin's greatest multipliers were in the beginning. Now, you'll be lucky to see Bitcoin do a 3 or a 4x because of how large its market cap is. So that's the reason why. I like to focus on these types of tokens. This one definitely fits the bill. Plus, the market cap is so low. It gives me a lot of leverage in case it does skyrocket. And if you notice, its total supply and its max supply is 1 billion. So if we compare it to other tokens with a 1 billion total supply, first one I could, that comes to mind is Chainlink. Okay, what did, what was the all-time high that Chainlink hit during the last bull run? It hit, kind of looks like a wick. Let me zoom in. Okay, it hit $51 with a total supply of $1 billion. This is Chainlink. Let's go to Uniswap. I believe Uniswap also has a $1 billion supply. Yes, it does. And then let's go to the max chart and then let's zoom in. Uniswap hit $40 last bull run. And you know what? Just to be conservative, because I don't think the popularity around Zeta was the same as Chainlink or Uniswap. But let's be conservative and start thinking in the single digit dollar zone. So. Let's consider Polygon, which I think has a 10, whoops, not this one. I think Polygon has a 10 billion token supply. Yes, it does. And what was its max during the last bull run? It hit almost $3 with a 10 billion supply. So, if we do some math, let's see, three billion divided by its current price, 
let's just say six cents since that was my entry point. That is, actually, no, I did the math wrong. Sorry about that. Okay, so if we divide polygons all time high of $3 last cycle by the current price of Zeta, which is six cents, that is a 50X. So imagine if you put in $300, uh, 50X could become, uh, it could be a profit of $15,000, or if you put in $600, it's a profit of $30,000. So you see how the upside is very high compared to how little the initial investment you put in is. And that's why my strategy focuses on these kinds of altcoins. So with that said, that's pretty much what I wanted to say. Do your own research, not financial advice. Another good example I just thought of is Algorand. So even thinking about this from a super conservative perspective, Boom, Algorand hit a little more than $2. So you can do the math divided by your entry point, use that as a baseline to see conservatively how far Zeta could reach. But do understand this, this doesn't 100% mean that Zeta will hit those numbers it just gives you a very rough idea of what you could expect in this 2025 bull run. So with that said, leave a comment in the comment section below. Creative Mining out.